Hello, hello. Welcome from the Indianapolis Health Plex. My name is Del Pride. This is my son, Melchizedek. Pride also. Uh, everybody just calls me Coach Pride. And everybody calls my son Mel. So we're going to talk about the serve. How can I practice my serve, Coach, when I can't play tennis, when I don't have a tennis court, when there's no net? And how can I work on my serve? It is the most important shot in the entire game of tennis. And you're never too young, never too young. I got three year olds working on this to start doing it right. Okay, so let's use the wall, any wall. It can be your wall at home. It can be outside of the house on the side, the garage door, it doesn't matter, all right? I'm going to demonstrate one time, and then we're gonna put my son to work. Are you ready, son? Yes. All right, I want you to watch me from this side so you can see everything. All right, and I'm gonna demonstrate. Number one, we're gonna get sideways to this wall. That's, that's a big thing about serving. A lot of people start off serving and they're facing the tennis court and that's how they serve. We all know that when we see our better players, they start sideways. I'm gonna start them sideways from birth. Number two, the racket is on the shoulder. I'm gonna reach up. Mel, he's like, uh, Mel can you see how high my racket is? That's how high I wanna make contact with the ball right in the center of those streets. Now, do you think mine is higher than yours? Because I'm taller, right? So everybody's got a different height. All right, so I've got the racket on my shoulder, I'm sideways, I'm gonna to toss that ball up and catch it right in the middle of my racket. One more time, shoulder, because if you come from below, you're gonna smack the ball, you have a lot of awkwardness, it's not gonna be an ideal serve, especially with small children. So we need to make sure, or beginners, or people that have weak um, shoulder strength, start from the shoulder, reach up, catch the ball. All right, you're in, let's do it. I'm cheating, he has done this before, but not all the time. All right, from the shoulder looks good. Looks excellent, that's right. There it is. I like that, because the ball was behind him, you don't want that toss. That's right, so take your time, keep the toss in front of you, you got it. And there it is, good toss, good catch, all right? That's one, do it again. That's two, pretty good, do it again. That's three, not bad, not bad. Now the last three, you're catching them right about here. Notice the slight bend in the arm. I want you to push yourself and get that arm completely straight. Completely straight to catch that ball. Go for it, completely straight. Go high, high as you can. Better, I like that straight arm. Let's do it again, as high as you can. Excellent, now, anybody that knows me and has seen even any of my videos, what am I gonna ask you to do? Switch hands. Switch hands. Let me see the left side. Now, this is when it gets crazy. Wrap it on the shoulder and get that stance together. You got it, toss it up. The right hand is gonna be better at tossing because that's the handy, left hand and serve! First try! Oh, hold on, have you ever served left handed before? Yes. Yep, smart kid. Yes, he has, because I'm his dad, I make him do it. Let's go. Yes, yes! So we're into something pretty special. Let's do it again. The right hand, pretty good, let's do that right, all the way on the shoulder, all the way on the shoulder. That's right, all the way on the shoulder every time, reaching up. Notice how smooth the left hand is, because the left hand is underdeveloped. So, no kids, are, oh, where's that shoulder? I got it. It's not as developed, so he's not muscling through this thing. He's having to take his time and really focus. Time out, switch to your other side, your other hand, the right hand. Now, up, get close, get everything set up, get it. Excellent. It's going to be better when you switch back to excellent to the right hand. That's called bilateral transfer. Yes, that's a big word in sports. It just means I expect my basketball players to lay up right-handed, and I expect my basketball players to lay up left-handed. How can we expect our basketball players to do everything right-handed and left-handed with the dribble? But we don't expect our tennis players to do. We are a very one-dimensional sport. Let's start them young. Let's use everything. Let's keep our students well-balanced and keep you well-balanced and just better at all sports and especially serving. Have a great day.